Good morning everyone and welcome to today's video and uh, this morning we received a software update notification on our phone for our Tesla Model 3. We're going to perform a software update in a place that is away from your home and away from Wi-Fi using a phone hotspot. Let's get into it. Okay, so as I said, we're away from home at the moment on a road trip, but that's not gonna stop me showing you today's software update video. So how you'll know you've got a software update is a little yellow arrow here in the top left corner. And uh, I think at the moment I've actually got Wi-Fi signal because it's uh, automatically connected to my hotspot. So let's press that. And yes, it's connected to my TG iPhone 11, which is my iPhone, of course. So that's good. Let's uh, press that little arrow there, yellow or orange arrow. Okay, so there we go. Software version 11, 2022.8.2. Uh, that's what I'm currently on at the moment. And it says, please connect to Wi-Fi to download this software update. So we might have to give that a moment to let the car know that we've actually got Wi-Fi connectivity. So here we are. That automatically went and the arrow went from orange to green and we should be good to go. So uh, it's downloading update 2022.8.2.5. It shouldn't take too long. And just note also that we're on 52% state of charge at the moment. So we shall see whether there's any drain at all with the software update. A few moments later. Okay, so the green progress bar is showing that we're almost done with the update. We should be almost good to go to start installing it. There we go. So now update available. Of course you can schedule it and that's what the car does automatically. If you press that, it'll say, or you can install now, which I'm gonna do. Unable to start software update because sentry mode was set to on. Sentry mode must be set to off during a software update set sentry mode to off to retry the update okay let's do that right now so close safety scroll down to sentry mode let's just turn it off for the time being uh there we go we don't want to turn it off permanently because i'm not at home at the moment we're just in a public car park so uh, let's go back to uh, software software update install now and by default it'll take two minutes to download but there is a bit of a hack you can just press this area here three times with the finger like this and there we go it'll go down to one second and we are good to go software updating to 2022.8.2.5 update starting do not drive until complete all right let's wait for it to update okay so the software update has completed that didn't take too long at all probably about maybe 15 minutes i think uh, at most um, and that gave us enough time to uh, head upstairs for, for a quick breakfast uh, in the apartments we're staying here and then back down again to uh, tell you about the release notes. So 2022.8.2.5. Now I've already gone through these in a previous software update video 2022.8.2 uh, so there's nothing new to speak of just probably bug fixes and performance improvements but I'll just quickly run through them again. So charging time estimation uh, charging time estimation, estimated charging times are now more accurate by taking the current battery pack temperature into account when a vehicle is connected to a supercharger or a third party fast charger. So on this current road trip I've been using a lot of supercharging and DC charging and I've got to say the estimation is probably improved uh, since this update. Vehicle preconditioning accessed via the Tesla app will now remain active up to 30 minutes after a door is opened make it easier to load your vehicle without affecting climate control. So I think this is good where if you need to put the kits into the car or uh, load shopping or load luggages or suitcases into the car uh, for a trip, uh, the conditioning will continue to happen for 30 minutes after the first door is opened if you've been preconditioning your car. Active phone calls, you can now hide your phone call card allowing you to see the next turn when the navigation turn list is covered. Tap the phone icon on the status bar to show the card again. So when you receive a phone call, it turns up in this corner here. You can swipe it away and it just shows a little phone icon up here in the top. So that's quite handy. And the last thing is new language support. Your touchscreen is now available in check to switch your language setting and tap controls display touchscreen language. So that's good to see that Tesla is now supporting more languages around the world. All right, everyone, that's software update 2022.8.2.5, and they are the release notes.
And also don't forget to put sentry mode back on as well after you do this, particularly if you're in a public car park. So let's go back to safety, scroll down, sentry mode, let's put that on again. Okay everyone, that's software update 2022.a.2.5 and showing you how to download it without Wi-Fi, just using a hotspot from your phone and also turning off sentry mode as well to install the update. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you at the next software update video. And as always, happy charging.